Here in this video, we will see a problem on temperature, stress and strain. And related to that, here we have a question. Whatever is given in this question, first we need to write that in the form of data. Now, a steel rod 20 mm in diameter, the diameter is given. Steel rod is there, so it is circular in section so this is the steel rod and as we are seeing that it is circular in cross section diameter is given so we can even calculate area here itself so pi by 4 into 20 square and that is it is 314.16 mm square next and 1.2 meter long so its length is given 1200 mm is heated through 120 degree celsius so the change in temperature is given 120 degree celsius next and at the same time subjected to a pull P. So this is a case of uh, that we can say the rod is pulled at the same time it is heated. So if the total elongation of the rod is 3 mm, total elongation is delta L that is 3 mm. What should be the magnitude of P? They are saying us to calculate the amount of load which is which the rod is being subjected to. Take capital E suffix S that is Young's modulus for steel 200 GPA so it is 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square and alpha suffix S that is the coefficient of thermal expansion or contraction 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 per degree Celsius. Now with the data available let us try to get the solution for this problem. Now in the solution part, the first thing I'll do is that I'll draw the diagram so that I can explain it in a better manner. Here we are having a steel rod. Now this steel rod which has a length of capital L. It is heated through 120 degrees Celsius. So here I'll draw the diagram indicating the heat which is given to this steel rod. So when the steel rod is being heated it will expand and this is the free expansion. free expansion of the steel rod denoted by delta L. Now in the problem they have given that a steel rod 20 mm in diameter and 1.2 meter long is heated through 120 degrees Celsius and at the same time subjected to pull P which is I can say that it is heated at the same time this rod is being pulled so when it is subjected to heating as well as the pull type of force there is a total elongation which is 3 mm and we should find the magnitude of p that is how much is this applied load so the approach in this problem will be in such a manner that first we will try to get the elongation because of the load Next, we will get the elongation because of heating. If we add up both the, both the values, we will get the total elongation and from that we can find the unknown P. So let us get started with the solution. Here I'll say that since we know that the elongation of the rod due to load P 
is given by elongation is nothing but the deflection and it is denoted by delta L. Since we are finding the elongation because of load P, I'll denote it as delta L1 and that is equal to PL upon AE. The formula of deflection. So here I'll go on putting the values. Delta L1 is. P is the value which we have to calculate. So this is unknown. Length is given 1.2 meter. So that is 1200 mm divided by area we have found out in the solution. 314.16 into Young's modulus 200 into 10 raised to 3. So from this I will get delta L1 in the form of P and my answer is 1.909 into 10 raised to minus 5 P and this will be in terms of mm. So I have got the first elongation because of load P which is a pull type of load and because of that the length of the steel rod will increase. Now I will calculate the elongation because of heating. So I will say that since the steel rod is being heated through 120 degrees Celsius. So therefore it will freely expand and hence the free expansion is given by delta L2 is equal to alpha into delta T multiplied by L. So therefore delta L2 is equal to alpha is 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 delta T that is 120 length 1200 so from this I will get delta L2 my answer is 1.728 mm after getting delta L1 and delta L2 we see in the problem that if the total elongation of the rod is 3 mm so because of heating and because of the application of pull type of load there is total elongation so therefore total elongation of the rod is given by delta L is equal to delta L1 plus delta L2. So delta L is given as 3 mm. Delta L1 we have found out it was 1.909 into 10 raised to minus 5 times of P plus delta L2 we have calculated just now it is 1.728. So now, after getting this equation, I can say that therefore P will be equal to 3 minus 1.728 divided by this term 1.909 into 10 raised to minus 5 and here I am getting my answer of P as 66.63 into 10 raised to 3 Newton or it is 66.63 kilo Newton. So this is the answer and we can say that hence the steel bar is subjected to a pull type of load having magnitude 
of 66.63 kilonewton and it will elongate the bar so here if we look into the question they had told us to find what should be the magnitude of p that is the applied load and i had explained that by drawing a simple diagram of a steel rod subjected to pull as well as being heated and we have found out the value of this p and that comes out to be 66.63 kilonewton and with this we complete the question